Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to make the perfect fried pork chop. Okay, and this is not just any ordinary pork chop with the flour on it. This is a fried pork chop that tastes like a steak. It, it reminds you of a ribeye steak, guys. Okay, and here's what you're going to need. You're going to need pork chops, okay? You're going to need vegetable oil. You're going to need butter. You're going to need steak sauce. You're going to need garlic powder. You're going to need paprika. You're going to need lemon pepper, parsley, black pepper, and salt. Okay? And as you can see, let me zoom in on these pork chops. I've already seasoned them, okay? And now I have a large skillet over here. <clears throat> and as you can see, guys, I put some oil in the skillet. Just enough to coat the bottom of the pan, okay? Not too much, okay? But I think I'm going to fry three at a time, okay? So enough to, you know, to fry three. And what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to put two teaspoons of butter in the oil, okay? Let's get that butter heated up, okay? Because the oil does not burn but if we were just to fry this in butter the butter burns so when you mix the butter and the oil together the butter won't burn okay the butter will just give off flavor okay so let's get this melted okay and I have my um, I have my burner on a medium high okay all right <clears throat> like I said I've pre-seasoned the pork chops already okay give me a second and I'll be right back guys okay guys take a good look at what my oil and butter is doing see how it's sizzling that's exactly what you want it to look like before you throw your chops in okay so at this point we'll go ahead and put our chops in okay there's one. Look at those chops, guys. Doesn't that look good? Okay. There's two. We're going to do three at a time. All right. And I had it on a medium high. I'm going to actually turn it up a little bit. There we go up just a little bit more, okay? Because what we don't want is if you have your um, if you have your burner too low, what will happen is you won't get that crispness on the pork chop. What'll happen is it'll steam and it'll be like a gray grayish color, okay? So we don't want that. Let's let these go for a minute. Okay? And then I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys. The pork chops have cooked for six minutes on this side. Let's go in and see what they look like, okay? Hold on, let me. There we go, guys. Lift this one up. That's perfect. Okay? Just like that, guys. You want it? A golden brown color, just like you would your steak, okay? And if it's not that color, don't turn it over yet, okay? Like this one is not that color. We're going to keep it just like that for a minute, okay? Be patient. And now this one here, I want to show you guys something. Um, while I had the video on pause, this one here started to puff up a little. So what I did was I cut a little slit in it right there, okay? And that helps it to lay flat. Because what will happen sometimes if you have uh, like fat around the edges, it'll make um, the meat puff up a little bit. And just cut a little slit in it and it'll lay flat for you guys, okay? <clears throat> Let's turn this one. Oh, perfect. Perfect, guys. This smells so good, guys. <clears throat> now, I do make pork chops um where you flour them 
and you deep fry them. I do make those, but I also like this. Like this, you cannot beat these. They are so, so, so good. And I highly suggest that you guys try this recipe. And it's so simple and so quick, guys. So simple and so quick. And everybody loves it. Okay, just let them cook. And make sure, um, like my family, we don't like the thin pork chops. The thin pork chops, mm, they kind of dry out. Okay, so so um, if you guys don't mind, use a medium cut. A medium cut, like it always goes perfect. Okay, you can't go wrong with the medium cut. Okay, look at this guy. And look how simple. Now, I have um, a recipe for Asian pork chops. I will be doing a recipe for that, a video for that, guys. I cannot wait to show you guys that. The Asian pork chop has so much flavor, guys. But I will make a video for that. You know, I sit back and sometimes I'm thinking, like, I can be at work or at home just sitting there thinking of how many recipes and what can I make and show you guys. I have like a million recipes going through my brain right now. There's so many suggestions from people. And I'm going to get to those recipes and I'm very excited about it. Let's go in and check these, okay? See that? We're not ready, okay? There we go. And like I said, guys, use the butter because that butter will cohese with this oil and the butter won't burn. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you were just to use butter, oh, your butter will burn and you'll have lots of smoke. Um, now, the overhead of the uh, stove, I have my vent on because as you can see, you're getting a little bit of smoke, okay? Because we have this up on a high heat, okay? So I would suggest to turn the vent on, on top of your so, and I just have mine on low. Look at this, guys. This is beautiful. And, and guys, whatever seasonings you like, use those seasonings, okay? Use whatever seasonings you like. If you like allspice, put allspice on there, guys, okay? Whatever seasonings you like. If you, you also... Um, for these pork chops, you can use like a steak seasoning if you want. That would be that would be very tasty. Yeah, test your spices out and see what you guys like, okay? I'm just moving the oil around and make sure there's oil underneath each one, okay? And then I got four more pork chops to make and I'll be done with dinner guys I'm just going to throw some macaroni and cheese in with this and hey that's our dinner for tonight let me zoom in on these guys let's see hold on can you guys see that honestly is that beautiful or what is that beautiful or what and peek in on them, guys. This one, see the bottom of that? Done. Done, done, done. See the bottom of that one? Done. That one can cook a little bit longer, okay? Awesome. And now what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put my others in that I'm going to cook, okay? Get them on in there. Just like that, guys, okay? There we go. See that, guys? I'm gonna lower my heat down just a little, okay? Just a little. Cause that oil is really hot right now, okay? This pork chop is almost done. 
Not quite, but we're almost there with that one, okay? Don't rush it, guys. Take your time. Have fun when you're cooking. Have the kids in the kitchen so they can watch you when you're cooking. So they can learn how to do it, guys. Let your family members and friends taste it. Okay, so they'll want to make the recipe for their friends and family. This is done. Okay, I'm gonna take that up. Get these two going. Okay. Give me a second, guys, and I'm gonna plate these three up and show you guys what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I wanted to go ahead and fry these ones before I showed you guys the presentation. So, here's these ones, okay? Same thing, same procedure, guys, okay? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay? Almost done. Be patient. Patience is the key to good food, guys. Remember that. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Take a look at this fried pork chop guys that right there that is gorgeous isn't that beautiful and like I told you guys very 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 simple they literally um, they, they don't cook long at all okay all right let's go in I'm gonna give these bad boys a try and what I like to do like I said guys you guys might as well call this a steak fried pork chop because it tastes just like a steak, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use some steak sauce, okay? Let me put some steak sauce on here, guys, and give this bad boy a try. Oh, my goodness. I'm going in, guys. I am going in. <clears throat> Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going in, guys. Look at this. Look at that. Perfectly done. Here's the thing. Look how juicy. Okay, see that? All right, guys. Give me a second. I know it's hot, but let me try it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Guys, I've done it again. I have done it again. This right here. Mm, mm, mm. Woo -wee. This is so good, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Try this recipe. Make it for your family and friends, guys. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going one more time. Taste this again. Woo, and I got a little bit of that fat right there. Mmm. I know I might be crazy, guys, but I'm one of those people that like pork chop fat. I like crispy pork chop fat, guys. Is there anybody else out there in the world that likes crispy pork chop fat? If so, let me know so I don't feel like I'm all alone in this world, guys. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get another bite. You know what, guys? Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Seriously, though. Mm. Hold on, I'm trying to chop, stop chewing. Seriously, guys, I made macaroni and cheese to go with these pork chops. I don't need anything else but this pork chop, my plate, and these utensils, guys. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. If you guys enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. God bless. And as always, have a great night.